Good evening, everybody. This is Mark Franklin from Marked in Time, and welcome to episode, well, this is supposed to be episode 16, but considering, considering that I uh, labeled episode 15, 16 from last week, I guess this will be episode 15, just a week late, and I guess that means the one from last week would have been a week early? I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is an episode of uh, Treasures Found in a Bag of Broken Watches. And last week's episode, we came up with this one right here. This was the treasure that we decided was going to be the uh, treasure found. Um, I'm going to zoom in on this for a second. This turned out to be a beautiful little watch. Um, it was mechanical. What really surprised me was I didn't know that Phasar made mechanical watches. So this was a complete shock. When I first saw the watch, I honestly thought that this was some kind of a fake kind of interior overlay or something and the battery would be underneath. Uh, keeps pretty good time. It's, uh, I left it on, it's the original strap. It's a really nice band. It's uh, full leather. I am really, really impressed with this watch. Um, it's not going into my uh, collection because while well, my collection is exploding, I have way, 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 way too many watches in my collection. I just keep wanting to keep every one of them and um, and I wouldn't be able to wear this. And my wife has a lot of watches as well. The other watch that was actually that came out of the bag was this one. It was pretty dirty and um, didn't like it. Like, I mean, it was okay. I kind of liked the dial. I liked the... Uh, but it's Timex, and I have a soft spot for Timexes. I did put it aside. I threw a battery in it and cleaned it up, and it turned out really nice. And the band is beautiful. And I did mention that last week that I really liked the band. I just wasn't too fond of the watch. But the watch polished up really nice. Um, not sure of the year of this watch, but I actually enjoy this one as well. So these two are definitely... Um, Something that um, was a great treasure. Two treasures really found out of last week's uh, bag of broken watches. I really, uh, I liked both of these. Really impressed with this one. Um, plastic gears in it. I mean, the movement is just really strange. But it is what it is. I mean, it keeps good time. And as you can tell, it's running nice. Um, yeah, so that was it. That's what came out of uh, last week's bag were these two. I like both of them. We have a bag for this week again, and um, we'll get right to that. I'm going to put these off to the side. Put on my gloves, because you never know. Actually, it was kind of funny. I was going through the comments of some of the first videos I uh, made way back, almost a year ago, um, doing this. I can't believe I've been opening up bags of watches um, for over the year. And uh, one of the comments kind of made me laugh because it was about how apparently I wore gloves to um, open up the bag and then I took the gloves off and I oddly enough was still touching the watches. I got to find that video because that would have been hilarious. And um, the viewer said that he was laughing because here I am talking about wearing gloves because the uh, bags, uh, the watches are so dirty. And then I end up uh, handling the watches anyways uh, without without the gloves on at the end of the video. i got to search that video up. I think that sounds hilarious. So here we go again, $9.99. That seems to be the uh, going rate. Um, uh, so this is it. Seems to be quite a few in this bag. Um, looks like a pretty good haul, but uh, let's go and see what we have in there. So I'm going to move these two other watches off to the side. We'll open this up and see what we got. I'm going to pull this out of the way here. And here we go. We've come across a couple of these. These are these strappy things. I'm not entirely sure how these work. I think you have to, um, I'm going to bring this up a little closer so everyone can see. Uh, yeah, I guess these bands you wrap around your wrist a few times kind of make it look like a bracelet sort of a thing. I'm not sure. But uh, there we go. I like the hands on this. I've seen this style before, actually. Um, it's nothing new. Oh, the band comes right off. That's kind of cool. That's kind of handy if you just take the band off. I might be able to... It's actually a nice leather, a nice leather strap. But, um, no oh, jeepers, hey, that comes off pretty easy. Probably use this as a dog, uh, <laughs> a dog collar or something like that. Okay, so there we go. There's just the watch itself. Uh, cheaply made. It's one of these, um, 
brass casings. I think this case is brass. I love the hands though. I've seen this design before. Um, actually the identical hands as well. Put that off to the side. Uh, then we got um, a watch that's missing the inside. So this isn't a watch. This is just an empty case. Wouldn't be surprised if the movement is somewhere in this bag. That's how that usually happens. Uh, throw that off far to the side. And then what do we got here? We got a bunch of broken bands. Oh, it's all taped together. Looks like someone took the care to... Uh, where's the pin? Why would that be... Why would someone not just put the pin back in? That's strange. Genuine leather. It's pretty beaten up. Although at the day it was a pretty good band. It's worn out, but you can see at the back it's not cracked. It's just roughed up. I'm going to put the band off to the side. Let's see. Let's more importantly, let's see if look at the watch. Gemis. Gemis Tokyo quartz a base metal stainless steel. stainless steel back. It's an attractive little watch. I've never heard of Gemis before. Huh, that's a clean looking little watch. See what we could do with that, maybe. Oh, uh, it's a swap. Oh, yeah, that's some cheap fashion brand thing. Oh my god, I hate this type of stuff with the two loops. This brings me back to those days when I used to snowmobile and used to put those helmets on with these kind of things. I never could figure the damn things out. Wow, that's. Pretty sad. Okay. And off to the side. And now here we got some big roots. Hyundai. We had a Hyundai watch last week as well. That's weird. Roots Hyundai. We had some cheap watch last week. It wasn't a it wasn't a nice watch either. It was a piece of junk and it had roots written on it. Or had, sorry, Hyundai written on it. That's weird. Oh, see that band's cracking a little bit. It's not a bad leather band on it, though. That looks like somebody took some chunks out of this one. That's weird. Roots. Huh. That's not too bad. What do we have here? Is that a wind-up? Nope, quartz says right on it. Huh. That's an attractive little watch. Worn right out though, but I kind of like the detailing on the case and I always like these little black... Uh, like all the detailing on the... Um, on the uh, crown. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, a tank. Oh, man. There we go. Carchet tank, sorry. <laughs> tank. Not, not, not a Sherman tank. It's a... Carchet makes these watches. It's called a tank, and they have that. Here's a fossil watch. That's weird. It's, um... That looks brand new. Look at that. It even has the protection on the, uh... On the band, that's brand new. Why, how the... Guys, that's a brand new watch. Oh my God. Hyundai. That's a brand new watch. Fossil too. Look at that, even has the, um, even has the Cyclops on the, uh, on the crystal there to magnify the uh, date complication. That is crazy. That's brand new. That's a brand new watch. Why would someone 
I mean, even if you didn't want it, why would you not gift it to somebody? Or Kind of a weird clasp, though, on it. They're not clasped. I find the bracelet kind of strange, this design. It's an integrated bracelet, but it has some weird... This part's actually part of the case. And then it... That's strange. Fossil. That's really interesting. That's brand spanking new. I'll put that off to the side. That's weird. Uh, citizen. Good old fashioned citizen. You got the serial number and everything on it. That citizen's an old name, eh? Holy Moses. Just one of those um, women's business type, straightforward, gold dialed, gold bank. Yeah. Doesn't excite me one bit. I have no idea. Sorry, I was trying to read with this small thing. I still can't read what that says. Seven? Or... Yeah, seven. Can you pull that out there? Oh, that's handy if I move that out of the way. Seven. Citizen Quartz, seven. It's got some wear on it. Wow. I'll tell you something, though. This watch was thoroughly loved, that's for sure. Absolutely thoroughly loved. Like, that thing is beaten. For a lady's watch, this thing has seen a lot of time on a wrist. Wow. Once you see a lot of different watches, you notice which ones are actually been thrown in a junk drawer and beaten up in a junk drawer, which one has been worn a lot. Um, this is kind of interesting. TCK Tech. It's a cheap, cheap, cheap fashion watch. But I have to admit, I find the dial kind of fascinating. It's a horrible watch. That is horrible. But I kind of like, first of all, what I like is that some cheap name is not written on the dial. But I have to admit, the indices look kind of interesting. They're definitely just some cheap glue on like one little tap and I bet the indices would fall off but I have to admit I, I'm going to try to point this out I don't know if you could see that but these the indices actually have these indents in front of them which kind of gives it a neat kind of a 3d effect um, trust me folks it looks a lot more interesting in uh, in real life than looking at it in a camera it's actually kind of a cool little minimalistic kind of design um, I can tell you right now with this one I'd keep the crystal Keep the dial and keep the hands. Right off the bat, I'll tell you that right now. Dials like this are really cheap, but if um, I sometimes like doing custom pieces, and this I would probably use in a very kind of a simple, simple design. I would, um, I would definitely use this dial. There's just something about the indices. I, I like this 3D effect where it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell on a camera, but. Oh, there we go. There you catch the light a little bit. You can see how <clears throat> you can see how the um, these are kind of indented. That is really kind of cool, and it's got a really nice. Um, the dial has a nice little starburst to it. For a cheap, cheap watch, I have to admit that was executed very well. I mean, the indices would, like, if you're not careful, you can scrape these right off. Like, that's terrible. But I really like that dial. I'm definitely, the dial and the hands and the crystal I'm keeping on this one. The rest of it, no. No, 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 no. The rest of it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Interesting, though. That's interesting. These are, you know, are they treasures? No, but I tell you, as far as um, that's just a, uh, a Fitbit. I'm not going to have any use for that. Um, maybe not be a treasure, but I'll tell you something, though. It is a um, something that I can get a lot of parts off. Um, so that's a, kind of the Swiss name on it, but I don't know. I don't think this is in... It's got the logo on the clasp, which is kind of a giveaway that it might be something. Cheap clasp, though. 
What does that say? Water resistant base metal. Nothing on the back. It's just a hundred meter water resistance. Swiss made. Is it though? Really? Date complication. I couldn't tell you what. Uh, nothing on the crown. Like no indication on the crown. This logo. I'm. I'm telling you. I have seen now a lot of watches with this logo on it, and you think it's going to be like a Victoria Knox type company that made it, and it's not. It's. I. I I don't know. This to me screams cheap for some reason. It, um, and man, whoever wore this watch wore a lot of perfume. You're not going to believe this, folks. I can actually smell the perfume off this watch. Like, it is, like, my little area here that I'm filming this in is actually starting to smell like perfume. Like, luckily, I'm not going to, um, I'm not allergic to, um, scents. But, oh boy, does this ever have a bad smell to it. Not body odor. This is just literally just perfume. A very, very strong perfume. How is that possible that that would be right on this piece of, uh, on this watch? As soon as I pulled it out, I started smelling it. Anyways, I, I think this watch is cheap. I, I don't think this is an expensive watch. It says Swiss made, but I mean, really? I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't think so. Screw down back, that might be a giveaway, maybe, but the clasp is really cheap, even though the logo is right there on the clasp, but I don't think this is either, either this is a knockoff, or I don't think this is like a Victoria Knox or Swiss Army watch or anything like that. It would have had something written on the back, I'm sure. And the band is rolled steel, it's pretty cheap as well. I'm going to move that off to the side. Um, oh, another, another well, one of these type of smart watches what do we have here nevada nevada swiss made it's working that's a wine that's mechanical feels nice that actually has a nice wind on that Oh, I like that. I can't see, what does it say on the back here? Stainless steel back, base metal. Screw down, back on it. Water, water and shock resistant. Well, I guess it would be shock resistant. This baby's still working. That's got a, um, that's got an, um, a marking on the crown there. Like it's got a zinger on the crown. I okay. The crystal I can. Let's see. Is that is that acrylic? I think that's acrylic. I can clean up the crystal on that. She's got a good harp. Look at that second hand go. It's got some uh, illumination for the. For the time, it's kind of a lean to it. I wonder if that's aftermarket crystal. I mean, is that the original? That is a smart. Oh my god, the keyless feels beautiful in this. This, by the way, guys, the um, the crown, the stem, and then the mechanisms on the inside is known as the keyless. And um, usually on old watches, I mean, it's hard to pull out. Um, a lot of the oils have um, corroded on the inside, like the oils have gotten really hard. So on sometimes vintage watches, it's really hard to change the time. Look at that. Oh, man, does that ever turn over the date nice? This thing has been taken care of. This has so been taken care of. I know it looks a little beaten up, but somebody had this serviced. Look at that. Look at that. Mid oh my God. Okay, I know I sound like I'm kind of freaking out here, but guys, this switches the date right at midnight. Sometimes these things are so sluggish on mechanical watches that the date doesn't flip over till about three in the morning. 
Somebody took care of this. Okay, the band is not very good. I mean, it's worn out. Um, albeit, I think in the day, that was actually a pretty nice band. I mean, it's shot now, but... I like that is a nice mechanical watch. It doesn't say how many jewels, if there's any jewels in it, does it? Oh my God, I'm really hoping that this case is stainless steel. I don't think so though. It doesn't say this case is stainless steel, it just says steel back stainless steel back base metal basil I have no idea base metal so it's probably it's electroplated I'm spending way too much time on this watch guys but when I come across something that's kind of excites me then although I don't know how old this is I mean the design is definitely I would say 70s maybe, 70s, 80s. That cleans up pretty nice though. That's cleaning up pretty nice. This might just be it. Anyways, well, let's move on, but I am gonna carefully put that one off to the side. I am excited about that one. Um, oh, this is an empty digital watch. There's no guts in this either. Holy shoot, we're not doing well with the digitals. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, right, we go from a nice mechanical watch to this sorry state. Oh, man. Cheap movement. Cheap, 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 cheap. Not much I can do with that. Band is in not too bad a shape. Well, looks kind of gross, but... Anyways, it's a vinyl band. It's not even leather. Um, then we got a, got a heavy-duty clock. I've had, I've actually gotten, this is now like my second one. It looks like a toilet. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's a, I guess that's supposed to sit like that. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's functional. It does look like a toilet, though. Weird. Anyways. Uh, leather band. It says genuine leather. Definitely keep that. And what do we have here? A guess watch. For a guess watch, this looks pretty worn out. Kind of a cool band on it though. Uh, genuine leather. That actually does look like a nice leather band, I have to admit. No cracking on it, that's leather through and through. Guess, 1987. I don't think that's the year of the watch though, I don't think. Case is shot. Really like the dial and the hands on that. Case is terrible, there's nothing you can do with the case. Well, maybe there is. Get the grinding mill to it, buff this thing right down. Kind of like the band on it though. The band and the watch, it's just kind of a nice comp. Uh, it paired up nicely. Yeah, well, it's an interesting piece. Guess is a good name. I mean, it's a fashion brand name, but it's a, it's a good name. What do we have here? Carriage. God, the amount of these watches, I swear to God, I get, oh, I got so many of these, oh man. Nice band. I can't move these. Like nobody wants these watches. These ladies watches from the 80s, 90s. Nobody wants them. Nobody. I um I had this idea of maybe going to um um going to like a seniors home and then dropping all these ladies watches off and see if maybe some of these uh seniors would want them, but I'll be honest with you, the writing on the uh, dial is so small, I don't know if anyone can actually read them. Um, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm actually, I thought about that. This is not actually true. I'm not trying to aim at a bad joke here. I, <laughs> honestly, I can't get rid of these things. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess maybe pull the movements out of them and then toss them. I don't know. 
Uh, and, uh, is that a citizen again? Yeah, it's another citizen. Oh, yeah, it's an eco drive. Wow, I've never seen an eco drive that small. Um, solar powered. At least that's what I think eco drive means. Again, though, hey, like I couldn't be able to move this thing to save my life. Butterfly clasp on it, though. Yeah, that's an eco drive. I mean, why would they make an eco drive in a lady's watch? That small. That's actually in. Um, I don't like the look of this watch. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the blue hands. That's really reminiscent of a watch styled like this from, um, let's say, the 1930s, 1940s kind of a thing. But, um, oh my God, there's that perfume smell again. I wonder if that's from the same. That must be from the same household. Ugh. Butterfly clasp. No, it must be. No, that can't be from the 80s or 90s. That must be newer than that because the butterfly clasp, I think, came out later. I don't know. It's a weird looking watch. Citizen's a good name, though. Eh, buff it up. Who knows? Let's see if I can sell it sometime. And down to the last one, I think. Nope, a couple more. So what do we have here? Oh, that name again, that name brand thing here. They make cheap watches. Nice band on it though. Bandini bracelet, Bandini. Bandini bracelet. I wonder if that's aftermarket? No, that couldn't be aftermarket, could it? Someone put an aftermarket band on it. The watch company not known as Bambini. You know what? It might actually be aftermarket because look at that. It's the size is written on the band. So that's 10 millimeters. So this is for 10 millimeter lug width, right? So the lug width here between these are your, um, for those who don't know, these are known as your lugs. Um, and then the 10 here would mean that between these lugs is 10 millimeters. So if you were going to buy a new band for a wash, what you would do is measure the distance between these two lugs. And obviously on this watch, it's 10 millimeters. And then you would look for a 10 millimeter band and you would buy a new band and then you would um, put it on. That's uh, what that is. But this is an aftermarket band. It's kind of a nice band, actually. I like that. Bandini. Yeah, that is a nice band. I bet that, I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if this band is worth more than the watches. Because that is a really nice band. All right, well, put that off to the side. And the last watch, this is it, the bag's empty. And the last watch we have here is a Boulevard. It's actually a really nice shape. Again, another watch I wouldn't be able to, oh, there's no case back on it. Damn, that's unfortunate. It doesn't even look like it has that good of a movement in it for a Bulova. Bulova has I'm kind of doing this out of focus here, guys, but is that actually a really that's I don't know if that, I don't know if that's even that. Nope, over here. This is going to sound really strange. I don't know if that's even a real Bulova. No jewels. Can't even see if that's a Myota movement. You know, this is such a dirty movement. Uh, yeah, this movement is really dirty. One second here. Yeah, it's a Myota movement. But that's a... That's a really cheap, well, maybe not. The movement doesn't look too bad. It's not really pretty movement. No jewels though. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think this is real or if this is a fake? 
How about really would they, would anyone make a fake boulevard? Especially a fake women's boulevard? Has a nice dial though. I think the indices are applied. It's got that diamond kind of thing on the top there. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh well. Anyways, guys, that's the end of um that's the end of the bag. The bag is empty. Um honest to God, I think I think this is the treasure. I don't know. I don't know what else we have here. I'm kind of going through got the old roots watch like this was the roots watch i don't think that's the treasure it's kind of got spoiled with the hyundai logo on it nothing against hyundai nothing against hyundai i don't want people hating on me for not liking hyundai but i just don't see anything that really i liked the um simplicity of this dial but that's not a treasure because i'm stripping this thing right down so out of this bag of watches bag of broken watches this here is the treasure i'm going to get this thing looking really nice put a nice band on it um this is going to be a really nice looking watch when i'm done with it i like this and i wouldn't be surprised once i take the case back off i wouldn't be surprised to see signatures from different watchmakers that service this watch because i can tell by the feeling of the keyless the way the hands move um the way this thing has a heartbeat because that is a really I don't know. She sounds beautiful. This thing has been serviced. I don't know how it ended up in a bag of uh, broken watches, but that is nice. And as I do every week, and I'm going to keep up with that, I'm going to do the watch giveaway this week. And the watch giveaway is going to be this. Mechanical Phasar. Um, it's a damn good watch. I really, really like this watch, and I would like to give it to somebody. If you um, want this watch, you know, you can um, just email me here at uh, martintime69 at gmail.com and uh, tell me that you like this watch and um, you'd like to have it, and I'll mail it out to you for free. So uh, there we go. Anyways, um, so tonight, again, this is The Treasure Found in the uh in the bag of um broken watches uh thank you for watching and i uh, do ask you to please like and subscribe um it really means a lot to me when you um like a video and um and subscribe really means a lot to me when you subscribe i like that i like to grow the community on this channel so um anyways i'm mark franken from marked in time and thank you very much